Now that I'm in a new area, I need to do some location scouting so I can bring all of you the best places to explore and photograph. Since it's a rainy day, this is a good day to do this. Well, welcome to winter in the Pacific Northwest. Even though this day is not looking all that great, I'm setting out with a buddy to go see some new territory. We are heading east on Washington State Road 20 into the foothills of the North Cascades. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you already know that I like remote places. It's just a lot of fun to be off the beaten path and explore the trails less trampled. Well, this road is not exactly remote and is definitely trampled. So we are taking a detour on our way to check out a lake as a potential photo and camp location. We notice this alternate route that will take us a bit longer but get us off the only road through the North Cascades. This is definitely the wet time of the year in a wet forest. We are surrounded by green hanging moss. This is Baker Lake Road. I plan on driving this road to its conclusion somewhere in the wilderness of the North Cascades, but today we are heading to the Lake Shannon Recreation Area. The Lake Shannon Road eventually became surprisingly rugged and really raised my hopes that this location scouting mission was going to be a success and I would find the campsite with the photographic view that I was looking for. And I was hoping we'd be able to see Mount Baker, which should be right there. But the weather is crappy today, so no Mount Baker. And I was also hoping to see if this was a good spot to go camping. It's pretty much farther out here than I thought, and it's marked for no overnight camping. So there goes that idea, so I guess we'll have to continue to look around. Oh, glimmer of hope. Little blue sky coming through up there. Glimmer of hope. So I guess we'll keep driving around see what's in the area. I also wanted to scout a trail that I found on alltrails.com. This site has a filter for trails for off-roading vehicles. I discovered the Finley Creek and Iron Mountain OHV trail. At 44 miles long, it looked like a good weekend camping trip. Be ready for the unexpected whenever you go exploring, like when you stumble upon this cascading waterfall. Because we are running low on daylight, I decided to mark this place on my map to return to when I had more time. My camera crew and expedition team on patreon.com forward slash EWJ can find it in the location's newsletter with some more details. We did our best to follow the trail, but there are a lot of roads and no internet to help keep us on the correct trail. Another jeeper pulled up and said he was heading to the top and asked if we wanted to tag along. Hey, two jeeps are better than one in the wilderness, so we followed for a while. We definitely got to experience what would have been some pretty epic views had it not been for the fact that we were just about to enter the clouds. Something else we started to notice is that the snow was beginning to pile up. As a matter of fact, it was getting deep. These are conditions that we were not prepared for and eventually, we got stuck. We were following that other Jeep up here, but coming around the curve, we kind of got a little stuck there. So they, even though they said this is the last hard turn, the snow is still coming down. So out of abundance of caution, since we really aren't prepared for snowy conditions like this, we're going to take this opportunity in this kind of wide area to turn the Jeep around and begin our descent down. Since it's going down, I don't think we're gonna get stuck, but the snow's getting deep, so this is not the situation that we want to continue in. So, maybe some other time we'll come back and head up to the top, but not right now. 
The other driver did try to convince us to continue on. We do have a toe strap and they had a winch, but I felt it was better to err on the side of caution. Now, if you remember, a few weeks back when I did not err on the side of caution, I not only had to do some unexpected rock climbing at night, but I also got some scratches in my clear coat. On the way down, I was having trouble staying away from the tree branches, so I got out and broke them down. I will be adding some gear to deal with trees like this in the future. This was a neat way to get out and explore on a rainy day. I am definitely looking forward to explore more of the Cascades when they are covered in snow and share with all of you the images that I capture. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out patreon.com forward slash EWJ for my bonus content. On a bit of a side note, please consider adopting a shelter animal into your family or donating to your local animal shelter. Thank you for watching. Here's a little preview of the next episode.